So, you go away for a few days on a business trip or holiday and you think you've packed your MacBook Pro charger, but in fact, you haven't. You may think you have one of two options. Option one could be to try and make the battery last for a few days while you're away. Not a very productive method if you've got things to do, but you may get around six hours depending on what you're doing. Option two could be to visit your nearest Apple store or electronic store and purchase another USB Type-C charger along with a USB Type-C cable. An Apple USB Type-C charger will cost you between $50 to $100 depending on which one you choose or which one's in stock and another $20 for the charging cable because these are sold separately. You could also purchase a generic USB Type-C charger and cable but this is risky as will probably not match very well with your MacBook or MacBook Pro. Not a great option as you've already got everything you need at home. But there is a third option which could keep you powered during your trip until you get home. This option consists of using a USB type A cable to a USB type C converter. Now this is not a completely free option but it's by far the lowest price one you have available. The only purchase you need to make here is a USB type A to USB type C cable or adapter which are becoming more and more common in electronic shops news outlets and supermarkets across the world. Let's see this in action. Simply plug in your USB type A cable into the USB socket and then plug in your USB type C end directly into your MacBook or MacBook Pro. The MacBook will then negotiate a power draw from the USB port and take what is available for charging. So what kind of charging speed can you expect? This all depends on the USB type A power output you plugged it into. A good USB power source could provide 5 volts at 2.4 amps, which is equal to 12 watts of power per hour. This is what a standard iPad charger provides. This means you could charge a 12 inch 2017 MacBook in 3.4 hours, a 13 inch 2017 MacBook Pro in 4.3 hours, or a 15 inch 2017 MacBook Pro in 6.3 hours. You could recharge your MacBook overnight very comfortably from empty or if you're out for dinner with friends or colleagues. This also means you could potentially trickle charge your laptop while in use, but this all depends on your workload you're putting the MacBook under. For the best results, we recommend charging your laptop while powered down. We tested a variety of different USB type A charging plugs and sockets directly from the wall. As we stated, it all depends on the power these plugs can provide and notice no difference in power draw based on the cable used. What does this mean for someone traveling? This means wherever you find a USB output for power, you can potentially use this to charge your MacBook. Such places include cars, trains, planes, coaches, and any other type of modern transport or hub. This also means you can charge a MacBook via a standard battery bank that are readily available. So for example, you could charge your MacBook overnight while simultaneously charging a battery bank to aid you in the day if required. We also had the same results when testing a micro USB to USB Type-C converter. We purchased a variety of USB Type-A to USB Type-C converters and adapters from Amazon and saw that the popular Anchor brand worked perfectly for this task. You're going to come across a wide range of cable brands but they should work just fine as long as they are well made. You'll find some links in the description to the Anchor cables and connectors if you need them. If we wanted to recommend anything, it would be to purchase a small micro USB to USB Type-C converter from Anker as these fit in your wallet or purse and are very handy when you need to charge them with a USB Type-C device. That way, you'd simply use them in conjunction with a micro USB cable which are available practically anywhere in the world. You shouldn't run into any problems while using the method of charging as a USB port is limited to 5 volts. But, as always, test this out for yourself and do so at your own risk. So there we have it, a very affordable way to charge your MacBook while you're away for a few days that works perfectly fine until you return home.